Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be beading a black cat and I thought I'd share my process with you. I'm going to be working on this vintage orange linen napkin that I stretched over some thrifted stretcher bars. They measure 8 by 8 inches. And I'm going to be using this blue micron for drying out the cats. I decided to use a drawing of my cat Drusilla that I made a while ago as my reference image. This isn't going to be a crazy detailed project. I did draw out a nose and a mouth, but I don't think they're going to stand out too much because everything's going to be beaded in black and turn into a bit of a black blob with two green eyes. I also decided to add a couple flowers. I'll be using a beading needle as well as some plain black sewing thread. I'm going to begin by beading the eyes. I'm starting at a pupil and going to use some black seed beads, just a couple, and then I also have some micro green seed beads that I'm going to be beading around those couple black beads. I decided to bead a line to act as an eyelid, but more so a guide for the green beads to stay in a semicircle. Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to start beading the small details of the face, basically the nose and mouth, even though those are going to get lost in the sea of black beads that I'll be filling in, I wanted to put them in anyways. I'm also going to be outlining the body of the cat, and once that's done, I can start filling it in. Going to begin filling in this outline of the black cat completely with more black seed beads. My approach for this is that I like to try to be directional with the way I'm beading. I'm doing vertical lines for the face for the most part and then with the body I'm going to be curving along the back into the tail and then I'll separately do the back leg in curves and the front two legs will also get filled in on their own. Okay, I'm just about done filling in this cat completely with beads. You can definitely see my attempts at directional beading if you look closely at the body and the way the legs are, but I do love the effect that photographing black cats has on the way they look where they kind of end up looking like a blob with a couple of eyes and that's what I was going for with this. Uh, 
Alright, now I'm going to start beading the flowers. I decided to use a little faux pearl for the center of the flowers and then bead some peach colored petals as well as green stems and leaves. There's one more thing I decided to add, which is some grass that the cat's going to be standing on. And this is kind of an unusual choice for me. I don't usually care whether or not there is a horizon line in my pieces, but I thought it would add a cute little touch. So I drew out a little line to fill in with some green embroidery floss just in a simple chain stitch. And that was the last thing I did for this project. Here is the finished piece. I hope you enjoyed watching my beading process and I'll be back with another video very soon. And I've got bonus videos on my Patreon and feel free to check out my shop if you'd like. Thank you for watching everyone and have a great rest of your week. Bye!